This is Radar for On the Radar Entertainment Blog with another weekly edition of Baseball Observations Hot Stove Edition. The Nationals re-signed Mr. National, Ryan Zimmerman, but they already have Eric Thames, they have Howie Kendrick and Azuba Cabrera, so they'll be in a timeshare at first base. They also signed reliever Kevin Quackenbush, Kevin Quackenbush excuse me, and Amelia Bonifacio minor league deal. They're bullpen. They signed a lot of guys this offseason of deals and minor league deals. They're just trying to build depth and Bonifacio. It's always helpful if he makes the majors because then he'll be a super utility player. And then the Mets signed Eduardo Nunez, who can make the team as a backup infielder, and Rasmus Ramirez, who will most likely be a relief for them because they got a stack rotation. And they just signed Matt Adams to minor league deal, which is a little bit confusing because they have Pete Alonso. It's a national league team. There's no DH. I'm surprised there's not enough teams in the American League that could have used Matt Adams at first base or DH or team that in the National League that doesn't have a, uh, a, a clear first baseman like maybe the Marlins. Speaking of the Marlins, they signed Brandon Kinsler to be their closer. He's been a closer before and a setup man, and they could flip him at the deadline like they did with Sergio Roma last time, last year. They also signed Matt Joy so that he and Dickerson could be veteran outfielders. It's a good idea by them. The Red signed Nicky Castellanos to a four-year deal. Adding to a defensively challenged team there is Musakis playing out of position, Nick Zell playing out of position as well. So yes, it'll be good in that lineup with that small ballpark, him and Mustakis. But defensively they're gonna be a wreck. And I don't know if this move like the Mustakis move is gonna make them better than fourth place or even third place. Diamondbacks, instead of having to move Ketel Marte to center field and maybe sign a second baseman like they did last year where they had Wilmer Flores. They went on traded for the other Marte, Starling Marte. Who's, yeah, you want to cool glove in left field, but he's above average center fielder. Yes, he hasn't been able to stay the most healthy. He's battled injuries, and he t- got busted for PEDs before. But for them to just sl- plug him into center field, like they have Cole Calhoun now and Peralta, they don't have to worry. they got a good enough outfield, and their infield can stay the way they want. And to get back in the middle of the lineup. That move helps them because they're probably the only team in the National League West outside of the Dodgers who have a chance to make the playoffs. Brewers signed Shelby Miller and David Phelps. They have been basically starting off from scratch with the re- with the rotation. And it's always good to have another reliever because they lost, you know, their closer in Knebel last year. So anything they get can get to help their bullpen. Cubs signed Jeremy Jeffers. That's helped them because the guys like Kinsler and other relievers they had have all left them in free agency. Chizik, all those guys that they needed to replace them. So good job getting Jeffers. He made an also team twice. They signed Corbin Joseph to a minor league deal. He just played some second base. They don't know who's going to play second base. Good idea. Giants signed Yomer Sanchez and Kung Fu Panda and Nick Vincent. So they got relieving depth and they got infield depth. So it's good for them. Red Sox, and speaking of re signing players like the Giants did with Pablo Sandoval, Red Sox re signed Mitch Moreland to play first base. So it looks like Chavis is probably going to have to play second base if he's going to get at bats in the lineup. But, you know, Moreland's just steady presence at first base defensively and he's pretty good offensively. Twins, in some of their minor league moves, signed Wamanaya. Good luck with him. The Sox had a hard time with him. But the Twins don't really have a set bullpen, so that makes sense. The Royals brought back Derek Holland, who didn't work out with the Cardinals and Diamondbacks. But maybe a reunion will help them, and then they can flip them like they did with other relievers last year. O-Sign LeBlanc, they don't have a guaranteed rotation or bullpen, so he can help out either way. The Red Side, Pedro Stroke, they just fortify their rotation, take away from the division rival Cubs. It's a good uh, deal. They already have closer and set a man in place, so it'll be like a seventh inning guy. Yankees signed Josh Tolley after they already signed Ionetta and Eric Kratt. They're not taking any chances in case Gary Sanders gets hurt because their backup catcher on the four-man roster hasn't that many career innings as a starter, so keep doing that. Rangers signed Matt Duffy. They have they just signed Todd Frazier, but they have no guarantee to first base or second base because they're not sure what they want to do with Rude and Odor. Frazier can always slide over first base if you want to play Matt Duffy at third base. Tigers brought back Jordy Mercer, but they just sent Nico Goodrum and that Castro guy got to play shortstop, but guess what? You could always make Goodrum an outfielder and or a third baseman, and you could play Mercer at shortstop because he is the veteran. The Mariners signed Hiriano, the Diamondbacks relief pitcher, and Wee and Chen. They, again, don't have a set rotation or bullpen, so those are good depth moves. And the Pirates don't have a guaranteed rotation spot, so signing Derek Holland to be a star reliever is a good idea. But signing JT Riddle makes no sense because they have a gluttony of middle infielders on the roster to begin with. But, yeah, that's just what didn't make sense. Now, in terms of players retiring, Peter Burgess announced that at age 33, he's going to retire, and he's going to become a scout for the for, in baseball. Tony Barnett announced his retirement this week, former Rangers reliever. And Curtis Granderson, the former Tiger, Yankee, Met, Brewer, Blue Jay, Marlin, etc., has announced his retirement. He was playing last year, 38, 39 years old. He was somewhat productive. So he said, yeah, maybe he can come back for another season in DH, but he decided to call it quit. So happy trails to him. 
Thanks for listening for another weekly edition of Baseball Observations, Hot Stove Edition for the Adam Radar Tan Blog. I'm Radar. See you next time.